morning, everyone. Good afternoon, good evening. Whichever part of this planet you are residing in, thank you for stopping by. My name is Nelson. You're watching Nature Nell. And if you're brand new, welcome aboard. Please hit that subscribe button. You guys are in for a treat today because we're going to go on another home visit. Now, I know I haven't been doing as many videos as I normally do, but as you can see, the sun right now is cracking rocks. It's really, really hot. It's so humid. Look at my, my glasses. They're actually fogging up. <laughs> Unscripted, unedited. They really are foggy. But anyway, today we're going to go to a home visit from a viewer of mine that I met over at Ophi's. And her and her husband, they were so charming. They just came up to me, started talking, and she wanted to show me her collection uh, on her phone. And I was floored. <laughs> I was floored. It's amazing how some of you viewers surprised me with so um, such amazing collections. And I'm so humbled to know that you follow me, knowing that you are like a master at growing orchids. So I appreciate you guys so much for being so good at your craft and still holding me to face value on showing how we grow orchids and how we care for them. So today is going to be really special because actually she doesn't live too far from me when she sent me her address. So we're going to be there in a short period, but it looks like a paradise. I can't wait to show you guys. So without further ado, let's go on a little field trip and look at some blooms. Hello everyone, I am here finally at my friend's house, Maria. Maria has the most incredible collection that you guys are going to witness. We've been out here, it's been raining. As you can see, my shirt is wet. We've been trying to get it to get a little bit drier before we start. Now, Maria did tell me that I would need to translate whatever she says because she does not speak English, but we <laughs> are not in trouble with that. I will be doing the translation. So without further ado, let's go check out her beautiful blooms. All right, guys, so let's start right here at this real extravagant, beautiful Catlia. This was one of the first ones she started showing me when we were walking through her yard. And the fragrance on this Catlia is just absolutely incredible. I told her that before I got to it, I could smell it. She says that under this tree, this is a, an olive tree, or what they call, I think they're called black olive trees. And she keeps most of her Catlias under here. She says that when they're all in bloom, this whole area is extremely fragrant. Check these out. How beautiful are these? ¿Tú te sabes el nombre de esta? No se me borró y no no le he podido conseguir. Mm, she's she has she says that she's been doing this for many many years. So a lot of her tags have either gotten lost or they get uh, they grow into the basket, which has happened to me. So this one is one of those she does not have a tag. Sí, es que se ve. She says that. You know, yeah, she says that this is, she's had this for many, many years. And when she lost her tag, she didn't even realize that the tag was lost. And by then she just forgot about the name. But it is a beautiful, beautiful orchid. Now, walking through her space, I love the way that she's put everything together. Everything feels like a like a little trail that you can walk through and see all these beautiful surprises like this one here. Está preciosa. Esa es de Cuajerera. Oh, this is from Ecuajenera. Let me see. This one does have a tag. Here's Ecuajenera. Because I know people are going to want to go. There we go. Catlia, Marcella, and Ginaga. Que cosa tan linda. And how healthy they are. They're just beautiful. And the fragrance, que rico huele. Lo huele de aquí. The fragrance is hitting me from far away. And look, it's got two more back here ready to. Now, I know you guys are probably watching this right now, getting super excited because you want to know how she grows them. What is her secret? At the end of this video, I will share all of that with you. Look at this. Es un híbrido, pero muy viejo. Oh, see, it's an Uf, old hybrid. Eso tiene casi 
Wow, she's had it over 20 years. Let me see, because it. No sé si tendrá el nombre, pero sí lo debo tener. Sí. BLC Angel Heart Nora. So BLC or RLC Angel Heart Nora. I'm gonna be very careful there. I don't want the tag to break. But look at these, how gorgeous. So, más de 20 años. Sí. Over 20 years old with her. And it's been raining here a lot, so she Esta says. Es 90, la compré en Home Depot en el año 97, 98, por ahí. So, in 98, 97, she bought this from Home Depot. So, you see, guys, when you go to your local Home Depot or um, Lowe's, Check out their gardening center because you'll find some beautiful stuff like especially Esto era un bag baby. Estaba en la bolsita. En la bolsita. Okay, yeah, I had a feeling this is a bag baby. Because usually Catlias and Vandas will come in up. Not Vandas, Catlias and Dendrobiums. They put them in bags. My God, que grande está esta flor. Sí. Look at this Dendrobium, guys. Now, you see those spots? They've been rain damaged because we have been having crazy storms here. Honestly, I don't even esa, know. Es de Caribe. See? Sí, ese dendrobio es de Cari. Oh, Pero ve que la babosa le han hecho mucho daño. Ah, es la babosa la que... So she says that these are snails. This is not... Um, this is more snail problem. But she does um, buy a snail killer at RF Orchids, she was telling me. And she says it works very good. It's like these granules that you spread out and it gets rid of all the, the slugs and the snails. More dendrobiums. My God, they're just so healthy. María, ¿cuántos años hace ya que tú estás haciendo esto? Bueno, desde los nueve años. Nine years old, she started collecting orchids. Wow. Esa es de Moats. ¿Esta es de Moats? Sí. Ese es un... Why not? Un, no. Sí, no. Ese es una... Se, eh, Look at the size uno, of this, una, guys. <laughs> es it's crazy. Es una chamburquia. Chamburquia. Summer, summer time. Pero este Shemburkia es... Summertime? Summertime. Eh, ella eh, tiene de... Es una chamburquia, es una liga de chamburquia con... ¿Cataleya? ¿Con no. Leila Ruesen? No. Con... Yo, me parece, we're trying to figure out the cross. No, 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 She says comer. it's a cross between uh, Shemburkia and oh my god i know what she's gonna say and i'm gonna hate myself because i'm trying to remember oh, i just had one that bloomed recently it's a it's not a leila rubescence look at this guys how gorgeous well while she waits she's gonna get the tag i think look at this we know where this is from i haven't even asked her about this but i can tell you this is from ben young's Plutonia sanguinea con chamburque. What is it? Esa es una liga de Brutonia sanguínea con chamburquia. Brocktonia. That's, I would, see? I was trying to remember. I kept on saying Leila rubescens. Brocktonias, they usually bloom in clusters, small flowers in clusters. So this is a Brotonia with a chamburquia. Beautiful, beautiful cross. That's a very unique cross. Esto es de Bang Young, no? Sí, esto es de Bang Young. Yeah, this is from Bang Young. This is probably a Ben uh, fragrance. Just in a different color. Esto es un Ben fragrance, seguro. Sí. Pues tiene el olor. Tiene un olor riquísimo. They, they have the best, best fragrance. Now, I want to show you this syndrobium because when I saw it, I went crazy. Look at the face of this syndrobium flower. Let me go down to the floor. Oh, good. It's not raining anymore. It's been like drizzling. Look at that. Look at the labellum on that. It's like a sculpture. What a beautiful, beautiful flower. And what I love about Maria's garden is that you may see this throughout because she cuts, or should I say she divides a lot of her orchids and um, she puts them throughout her yard. As you can see, this is where she keeps all her sun orchids. This to me when she sent me a picture of this i was sold i'm like when can i visit you like we can you have to share this with the world <laughs> look at this guys these are what they call i think summarize 
How pretty is that? And the abundance of blooms. She was telling me that, um, that she has so many now that, you know, she divides and she, that it's impossible for her to see everything that's blooming sometimes. She would have to like spend a whole day and just walking through and seeing everything. Just in the time that we walk through, I swear to God, most of these, this is what we saw, double spikes. I was like, this. she goes, yeah, usually I get double spikes on my Mokaras and my Vandas. Look at this, look, double, double. It's just, it's just absolutely breathtaking. Now this one you guys know as the Josephine Vambrero. I've talked about this beauty several times. I own one, I got it from Dave from uh, Morning Dove Nursery. Toda esa planta son de vos. Toda. Toda. So, yeah, I have Igual a few. I was, she was, she just affirmed what I was about to say. She says that all of these come from moats. And I was just going to say that moats always uses this to cross with other Vandas. So this is like a base flower that they use a lot. It has such a pretty tone, almost like a sunset color. It's a really beautiful, beautiful flower. And so she's kept them successfully. As you can see, they're all in pots. And what does she use? Look. Lava rock. So you can use lava rock. You can use regular white rock. Este es nada más piedra blanca o tiene otra? No, ese nada más que tiene piedra blanca. Piedra. So she has it in just plain white rock. Because remember, these are most, most orchids, if not pretty much all that we grow here successfully in Florida are usually epiphytes. So there really isn't a huge need for a lot of like different types of medium, just something to anchor them down is perfect. And so lava rock and charcoal works beautifully for these sun orchids. Look at that. See? Look at the size of this. So, so 23 años, 23 years old. She bought it in 2000 from the, uh, Home Depot. <laughs> you see, I that that makes me happy because I was saying the other day, oh my God, look at this. Wow. This is a really beautiful dendrobium. How gorgeous is that? Esta también es de Home Depot. No. No. Esa se la compré. Esa la el que la, la estaba vendiendo es Aref. Oh, RF Orchids. Ese es de Aref. Yeah, she does buy a lot from RF. She was showing me some of the orchids that she had from RF. And towards the end, I'm going to show you guys something very special. Esta me la gané en una rifa de esas de, de, de un club. Y. Yo no pensé que fuera a ponerse tan bonita, pero la verdad que está siempre preciosa está y grandísima. Así. Es, la, es, la, es el dendrobio que más me florece. She says this es her most blooming dendrobium and she won this at work at her. El año entero se lo pasa ¿Sí? así. ¿Cuántos años hace? Ya hace como siete, ocho años que, que tengo esta planta. She's had this for seven to eight years. She won it at, at her local uh, orchid society. And she says she had no idea this thing was going to grow so big. So esta healthy. no, esta es reciente, este es un dendrobio que apenas acabo de, de sembrar, pero es la primera vez que me florece, pero... Está precioso, pero, so white. Eh, se da muy bien entre las piedras, oh, se da wow. muy bien entre las piedras, ellos... Guys, look es how increíble. big this flower is. Es que tu, tu dendrobio, las flores son inmensas, para gigantescas. She has like gigantic dendrobio flowers. I don't want to break anything. She was telling me that there's the rain has been so hard on these flowers. Estas son las que son tres por, por 75, algo así o no? No, eh, esas se las compré yo, amor, eh, que eran, yo creo que no me acuerdo, no recuerdo bien, pero eran como 45 pesos, me, me costaron en un, en un show, pero en el cuando la pandemia, ellos parece que tuvieron un. 
un exceso de plantas y estaba andando oh, 12 yes. plantas por, por 99 yes, pesos. Yo me y ahí acuerdo fue de cuando eso. compré todas esas pandas y las que tengo en la entrada de la casa. Oh, ok, now I, now I see what she did. Fuerte, <laughs> she said, guys, that Moats had a special. Right after the pandemic, they had excessive amount of orchids and they were selling. ¿Cuánto eran? 10 por 100 o algo así? Eran 12 por, no, por 99. 99. 12, for 90, um, 12 for $99. So a lot of these hey, came from there. She tres. bought three dozens. And so tres she put them all out here. Wow. Estas que están aquí, que tú me enviaste una foto. Look, guys, look, it's everywhere. Everywhere you turn, she has, and these, and uh, like I said, a lot of these are cuttings from the ones that you're seeing that she has to divide because it's just, it gets too crazy, she says, and they get so big that then they're hard for her to move around. Look how beautiful this little dendrobium corner is. This is another photo she took and sent me that I was like, oh esta, my God. Esta planta es de mote también. Yo se la compré en una... 20 que ellos tenían. Esto y, de aquí. Y, sí, y, y le dije, ay doctor, ¿cuál es el nombre de ella? Me dijo, eso Violeta. es la, a, eso es a suerte y verdad, no sé cuál será, eso es una sorpresa. Oh. Y este año fue la primera vez que me floreció. How pretty. Y ya hace como, como siete o ocho años que yo le compré esta Parece planta. la Vanda Violeta. Sí. Puede ser que sea. Pues She sí. bought this from Moats and the tag fell out. So Moats told her, this is a surprise box. When it blooms, you'll know what it is. Because sometimes the tags do fall out. And when they get mixed in with all the other ones, it's very... Sorry, guys, I got interrupted by a phone call. I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode. But anyways, this is her dendrobium tree. Where, well, one of them, where she has, where she buys things without tags and just puts them in there. This really caught my eye because the obvious cranberry and yellow is my favorite tone. But what I'm amazed is the health of these flowers. They're just so healthy. Everything, this is a good spot for um, for the dendrobiums. They're just so pretty. Now she was telling me that here, all this, she has to move it from here because this here, a lot of Floridians, especially down here south, have están, suffered from heat stroke. <laughs> anosmums, she, she has many anosmums here, but because we've had such an incredible hot summer. Estos son tres tipos de, de, de bandas que están empezando a, a, a coger ahí que son de, de Malasia. De Malasia. Oh, Malaysia? Malaysia. Oh, they're probably beautiful, probably white. So she's going to be moving some of these because when you see this yellowing, sometimes it could be too much heat or too much sun. And this year we've had a lot of sun. Vamos para, para el área. Vamos, vamos Let's go in the shade. Okay, <laughs> We're vamos. both suffocating. <laughs> And then later, uh, towards the end, I will brief you guys on how she feeds and how she maintains her orchids uh, free from pests. And there's these little flies she was telling me that are a nuisance. So in here, she says that with the rains, which my place is exactly the same, everything has kind of overgrown. So she has a lot of things that she has to clear out. But as you can see, this is her little jungle. Oh, I love these, cochleata. These, these are called the clamshell orchid or cochleata. Let me see, yeah, we got a... Está pegada, no, no la saca. There you go. It's a beautiful little, um, eso es más como encyclia, no? Es parecido al encyclia. Más o menos, yo más o menos. tengo dos, esta, esta de aquí. Es la misma. Pero si la miras. Oh, yeah. ¿Eh? It's, it's different. This is completely. No, está muy vieja, tú sabes. Oh, it's pero... already dying out, yeah. Sí, pero mira, ya ya viene aquí. No para. Ella siempre wow. está florecida. Esto, esta es una planta que es muy agradecida, la verdad es Pero esta es más grande que la rueda. Es que esta se ha ido en vicio. Es lo que te digo. Cuando tú le pones, empiezas a poner ese, ese <laughs> she abono. She says that it's going crazy growing, that she doesn't sí, really sí, do cuando much. Cuando tú le pones ese abono, se van, se, se van en se vicio. Van She sí. says, once you feed them, they, they all start, you know, coming, coming to life. And, and you know what, guys? If you don't worry about how much feeding, 
or how many times or you know if you're feeding at least once, a, cebolleta, once a month you're se, ahead of the game esta cebolleta ha sido la, la campeona aquí porque es la que ha ganado esta. dos precios dos premios de mejor cultivo really no. this one has won two prizes this is a special orchid como se llama esta es cebolleta no es un trichoglottis si sí. I think this is a trichoglottis she doesn't have but We'll, we'll look later. I'm going to show you something else that's going to keep you guys very impressed. Oh, the Cycopsis. Esas son preciosas. Oh, and this is the yellow one. Es la amarilla. La amarilla, sí. Look how beautiful that is, guys. This is such an alien-looking orchid. And for you guys that are growing Cycopsis, note to self, even though it looks like a Philanopsis, they don't like as much water as a Philanopsis does. So don't water it too much. Mm. Hold on. We're gonna teamwork here. And this one is the beautiful sea breeze. Check this out. We just discovered this one today. We we're walking through and she noticed it was giving her some uh, flowers and it's got more. This one is a heavy bloomer. This one will bloom a lot. Déjame decirte, esta planta se llena, pero esta es la primera flor que me ha sorprendido. Me sorprendido, yo no la esperaba. She wasn't expecting that. She's, she's very surprised with that one. Mira, mira, look. Sí, viene, viene. You have a little viene, bud right there. Viene más, y aquí tiene que How cute. Yeah, a... Being in here is like being in your in, in a little orchid paradise. Look esta, how well she has everything estas honey. Son mis favoritos, la lutiola. Me florece muchísimo este año. Ella se lució eh, espectacular. Fue espectacular. Esta, las dos, son mis lutiolas favoritas que las tengo ahí. She says this one is a very heavy bloomer and that this year they gave her florece plenty of blooms. Esta también ha cogido premio de, like. de mejor cultivo. Oh, yeah. that, has, that got a prize, best cultivate, uh, cultiv cultivor. Mm, aquí tengo las miniaturas. Pequeña. She keeps all her minis here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love these. I have one of these. Esto es muy difícil. Estaba florecido, pero... Oh, no. sí. Pero Look ya at no. that, how cute. Sí. Let me see. Let me see if I can catch this one. Oh, it's so tiny. My phone won't um, register it. Oh, nice little fan breeze here. Muchos de la mañana. Oh my God, guys, look at all these orchids. <laughs> she had so many. Look at this, how beautiful. It's like anywhere you look, there's just okay. healthy blooms everywhere. Ese es el why not. <laughs> I love this. Siempre está florecido, yeah. siempre. This is a wonderful, wonderful little cat, Leah. Siempre. Y eso que están... Mira, yo no dejo que las... Esto que está pasando es porque yo estaba enferma. Pero yo nunca dejo que las plantas se me pongan así sucias ni nada de eso. Yo las mantengo no, limpiecitas. No, yo imagínate. Déjeme ver. ¿Esto, no, ¿Esto es catalea o es...? Eh? I always call them catleas, but it's not really a catlea. It's something else. It's a broctonia with a catlea rentiaca. So, why not our hybrid? Es un híbrido. Es un híbrido, sí. Esto mm. es un híbrido. Es un híbrido. She says that she likes to... Um, on her on her free time she likes to clean out her leaves because down here with the with our well water she's very close to me by the way so we we share the same type of water and i asked her how do you keep your leaves clean she, says she actually wipes them out, wipes them down it's beautiful let me see let me Ese es de Catlia Maxima. Ese era de Amazonia. Cajis Yegoyen. Wow, that's a big, big leaf. Ese era de Amazonia. Gorgeous. I love how she has all her. Esto es precioso también. Esto se llena. Ya viene. Mira, tú lo ves. Look, look at this, guys. Look how many buds she has on this. What is this? Esa se la compré a Are. Esa es Are. Oh my God, my nails are so dirty. I've been picking up. Esta es otra de mis plantas. 
De muchos años. De muchos años. Y florece el año entero. Ya ella estuvo rellena y ya aquí tiene un botón oh, nuevamente. Wow, look, yeah. Porque es, si tú la miras, todo eso estuvo florecido mm -hmm. eh, hace dos, dos o tres meses. Like, es una hermana. Sorry, I almost dropped the phone. Yeah, yeah. La pronunciación me en inglés. Catlia Ger... Oh, I can't. I'm reading this upside down. Hold on. Jen Merrill. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Let me see. Maybe... Jen Maniai. Jen Maniai. Catlia Jen Maniai. Mira, allá atrás. No es este solo botón. Y aquí tiene otro botón más. Oh, yeah. Mira. Yeah, she's got two. She says that this one blooms all year round. She says it's a constant bloom all year round. That's nice. So if you guys want a, a Catlia that blooms all year round, this would be a good one. Because I know sometimes you guys ask me, what orchids blooms all year round? Not all of them do, but... Now this here, I got to talk about this dendrobium. Because it's a very special dendrobium. <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love with this when she showed me she has a couple back there so this one I'm going to be taking home she gave it to me as a gift and look how pretty that flower is it's absolutely gorgeous this is my little gift section things that she gifted me so I'll talk about that later when I go home I'll probably do a little mini haul oh yeah look right there there is a little spike. Blooming Paradise. I know exactly who that is. From Anna. Is it Anna? Anna, Anna. Anna from Blooming Paradise. Oh, look at that. I love these. These are one of my favorite. Esto es Brasavola mixed with. Um, sí, es una brasavola. Ahí tiene el nombre. Mira la. Déjame ver. Brasavola mixed with something star. Este maybe? es de Aref. Este de Aref. Sí. Brasavola green bee. Ven, ven, ven. Mira, ver. <laughs> sí, por aquí porque yo les tengo. Oh, Dad, we're trying. No All right, guys. Green bird. Brasocatlia green bird. Pajarito verde se llama. Uh -huh. How pretty. And it debe tener un olor por la noche. We're trying to do this without knocking anything down. Esto ha florecido este año cantidad. Eso es un trichoglottis. O un trichos... No, eso no. Esa es una... Ahí tiene el nombre. Esta es... I'm trying to remember. Esta se la compré a Aref. Esta es... Metrata. Algo metrata. Metrata. Yo creo que sí. Algo metrata. Metrata or... Trichocentrum, oh no, so I was Stacy I. Y este es, hay uno que es la especie y el otro es un híbrido. There's so many. Este fue el que floreció este año. Which is that one? Ah, esa cuál es? Esa es esta. Oh wow, look at the leaves on that one. Sácala, sácala de ahí porque la puedo. Está, está amarrada el, el... Con la otra, la raíz, sí, la cogió. La cogió. I don't want to pull it. It's growing off the other, root, the other one. But look at how pretty the leaves. Very cool leaves. Uy, I thought I had a frog on my shoulder all of <laughs> I felt something heavy. <laughs> I mean, her place is like a maze. Look at this. This was given to her. Esto te lo habían regalado, ¿no? Sí. ¿En dónde fue RF? No, Amazonia. Amazonia. They had given her a little um, cutting as a gift. Ahora, eh, hoy por hoy es Hofi. Ah, es Hofi. Claro, el, ah, el hermano that's right, de Hofi. That's right, that's right. I forgot that that was their, their other business, Amazonia. El hermano de... de, de el, el jovencito. El jovencito. So, Hofi, there's three brothers, even though a lot of you have only seen two, but there's a third brother. Ese fue un gajito que se me partió, yo lo puse ahí y me... She says that this was from there and this actually broke and she literally dug the cane in the dirt and she got this. So you see guys, sometimes just experiment. Don't be afraid with your orchids. Estas son orquídeas que se me van partiendo, las voy poniendo ahí, ellas solas empiezan a, a florecer. She puts here things that break. It's like her... 
I have, a, I have a section like this too, where if they're broken or the uh, cakeys came off, I just put them in there and I let them do their thing. And so she says that when she comes back here, it's always a surprise because there's things that are blooming or, or that actually tengo took. Que aprovechar un poquito más los espacios y tengo que empezar a, a, a integrarlos porque este espacio de aquí me hace mucha falta porque ya están mis plantas que están muy asignadas I know. <laughs> she says that she needs every space she can get because her plants keep growing uh, uh, because she, she knows how to keep them so well. I love these. I was telling her these are absolutely gorgeous. She actually gave me I think it's one like this. No, it's um, one, I think, like the red one. But um, she also grows a lot of different peperomia, peperomias, um, begonias. But look how cute. This is where she puts all... She was telling me, I have to come back here and do some heavy weeding because the rains, that's what I've been doing at my place. All these weeds literally grow within a day. This is where I saw this beauty that I told her, oh my God, this is so pretty. So she's kept all her dendrobiums está, here. Oh, the big canes. I have this, yeah. These get so big that if you guys don't have the space, when you buy dendrobiums, ask your vendors how big they get. Because if you don't have the space... Un de tamarindo. Este es tamarindo. Sí, un de tamarindo. Le, oh, yes, I see it. This is a tamarind este es tree, guys. Tamarind wood is amazing. It's one of the strongest woods. And she's been putting it. She says, I have a huge tamarind tree. Esto es, esto es una cosa preciosa. Esta es una musea eh, de. Mm, no se llama este señor que se murió ya eh, Sedona de Sedona es una belleza It's esa cap, esa yeah. esa musea lo que me quedó fue el gajito este que parece que con el agua ahora se está pero mira acá, agarró pero, super bien y mira, mira tienes otro aquí tienes sí, más sí sí gajitos que se me parten y los voy poniendo she ahí she says y, that these are all pieces that fall off her ya, orchids and she just puts them on the tree and they sí, ya yo, ya yo se me voy. So I know here there's a Catlia that blew my mind away. Look at this. And this, she says that this has gotten too dark. You see this? This is due to the rains. She says she had this all cleared out. This is a, a, a beautiful flower vining uh, plant, but it's gone out of control. But look, even in the darkest area, her Catlias are blooming beautifully. Esa es otra planta que la tengo casi del año noventa y pico porque o de do, 2000 porque wow. esas plantas vienen de las plantas mías de Jayalía que son plantas she's, históricas she says these are all her her classic historical plants that she's had for many many years look at that how pretty that color is and of course amazing fragrance she says these are when she lived in Jayalía which is a, another city here in Florida So, desde el 90, ¿tú dices que la tiene o antes de eso? No, estas son como, esa es como del 2000 y es Home Depot también. Oh, really? She got sí. that also at Home Depot in 2000. Home Depot. Yo, yo tuve mucho tiempo que compraba muchas plantas de Home Depot. Wow. Porque no sabía, no conocía los lugares para acá, para Home Y después, ya cuando entré en el club fue cuando me enteré de todos los, los vendedores, de los shows. Oh, she says that when she eso. started, since she didn't know fue, much. Oh, my God, look at this. Fue como en el 2000. Esto está precioso. Wow, this is gorgeous. Look at the size of this. She says that when she started collecting, she didn't know anything about the vendors and people who sold. Here's another. The moats. So she would only buy at Home Depot and Lowe's. So a lot of these are from Home Depot and Lowe's. But now, you know, after years of collecting, she started 15 years ago. She actually started um, going to the shows. She has volunteered in shows. She's been part of, uh, of or, uh, several orchid societies, which you guys are going to be wowed when I show you what she has inside. She also has like more in the front her Esto, um las, fam, las oh, que tenía 
quiero ver si pongo todas esas plantas porque este, este dendrobio es muy lindo quiero ver si lo Ay, pongo sí. en una maceta porque no quiero Qué que se me vaya está. a echar a perder y este es el dendrobio blanco ese que es una que crece inmenso y es lindísimo she says that these were as you can see those are palm trees and she cut them down because they were already too heavy with these orchids Pero and she's going to use them eh, as aquí hanging. es donde único vienen las, las iguanas Oh. Yeah, she says that. Uh, aquí viene también. Yo, oh, she gets a lot Pero of iguanas. No. ¿Qué tú haces? You get rid of them? <laughs> yeah, you have to. Listen, she's a little bit embarrassed to say this, but we have to. Here in Florida, iguanas have to be terminated. They are destroying the environment. I don't like to kill any animal. And I got to tell you, if I see one in my yard, I have no choice but to do it because they will annihilate your garden in, a, in less than a, the year, you won't have anything. They destroyed Fairchild Tropical Gardens. Fairchild used to have beautiful hibiscus. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't believe in killing any animal, honestly, but if it's destroying my environment, I have no other choice. Thank God they don't go to my property. I've never had to do that, and I hope I never will. <laughs> that was great. El número de tu casa donde está, pues no me gusta enseñar el, el No, número. no, no, no. There we go. Look at this, how pretty, guys. How healthy. Lo que yo veo que están tan saludables, las flores. Es lo que te estoy diciendo, wow. que eso que yo le pongo, no importa que después tú te metas seis meses. Esas plantas hace seis meses que yo no le he hecho wow. nada de abono, pero cuando tú I le das una it. buena fumigación, una buena, una buena abono, con eso... eso she says she hasn't fed in six months, guys. And she says because the, the, what she uses... Yes. Yes. See, she does what I do. I don't spray all my plants if I see thrips. I only hit what I find or any neighboring plant next to that. But other than that, I really try not to spray everything with fungicide. Um, I'm sorry, not fungicide. I do spray fungicide overall. What I don't spray overall is pesticide and insecticides. I only do that to the plants or orchids that are affected. That way you just control and you don't have to be spreading so many chemicals. But she says she hasn't fed any of her orchids in six months. Six months, seis meses o seis semanas? Okay. Que no le ha dado comida. Six months, wow. Desde enero. Desde enero. Since January. Casi desde enero. Yo no, porque yo me enfermé de la espalda y El no podía abonar. Oh Cuando ella empezó a, a visitarme, se fue enamorando del mundo y de, de las orquídeas. Ella tenía sus orquídeas, pero no las tenía. Y le fui enseñando, le fui enseñando. Y por eso no he dejado tan grande como Really? Ella. Maybe bueno, I should no que... go pay her a visit. Look at this. Oh. You guys, this is spectacular. Esto está espectacular. Tú viste el tamaño de esa. Yes. Tú le viste el tamaño de oh eso. Y, y big... ya tiene, ya ella tiene ahí casi, casi, casi que, que, que dos meses florecida. Wow, this is so beautiful. <gasps> See, oh. when I came in, I didn't pay. I saw these, but we, we went right in. And I didn't get a chance to really detail these. These flowers are. Mira esto, Dios mío. She is definitely esa, a master grower. Esa planta, yo la compré en Soroa. En Soroa. Hace como cuatro años, más o menos por ahí. Y ya esa planta, yo la he dividido tanto que he sacado, la he logrado vender como tres veces. Really, she sold that plant three times already from uh, divisions she's made. Tengo esta planta, tengo una que no sé si la firmaste por allá, que está florecida ahora. Y tengo otra más en otro en otra que no está no está florecido. She bought it at Soroa Orchids, which if you guys don't know what that is, I did do a video based on their nursery. Todas esas fueron las que yo compré. Ago. Ale, en en Moats. En Moats. Menos esta. Esta que esta es la ¿Dónde que compraste? Eso lo tenía Ana. Ana. Ana la de Blooming Paradise. She sometimes, ella algunas veces tiene cosas que nadie tiene. Esto está precioso. Yo creo que yo me acuerdo verle esto en Chamiami, la tenía ella. Ella las estaba vendiendo en 120 pesos, 130, 150 pesos tenía una. Yo, por cierto, se la compré mucho antes de que ella la conociera la gente y, y me la vendió mucho más barata. Sí. Pero ya This esta planta, 
yo la he dividido. dividido. Te voy a decir, tengo esta, tengo, tengo, tres, this. tengo tres plantas, tres plantas adicionales, aparte de esa, y una que regalé, se la regalé a mi, a mi amiga Susana Ortiz. It is beautiful. And look at this. This one is so colorful. Look at that. It's iridescent. Do you see the iridescence, guys? It actually is showing up on, on the film. That is beautiful. Really, really nice. Look at this. Oh my God. I have this one. Esta, esta ya la tengo, esta es de Motes también. Todas, todas estas son de Motes. Todas, ex, so, menos esta. Oh, menos okay, so. esta y esta que esta se la compré a Soro. So she said, I'm sorry guys, I, I'm not paying attention to Y esta que es una, esta es una mocara. This que one se la a, and that one are the only ones that are not from Motes. Se la compré a, los demás, All todos de Motes. Most. Todas las plantas de Motes que compré, la docena esa que compré. No, look, look at this, look, look. Todas, todas. An abundance of buds, like todas. it's like her her orchids are regurgitating no, buds no everywhere. Para, Yo Look at that. De como 20 de esa, ya viene it's todo crazy. Look more here. It's like everywhere I look. Es, es así, mira, es un ciclo. See? O sea, termino una espiga y, y ya viene la otra y así. That's why it's so important that if you guys want orchids all year round, orchid flowers all year round, I have this one. Mira. This is such a beauty. Esto que tú ves aquí. Fue este año la, el frío que las quemó. Mira cómo la quemó. This todo, is, todo eso es quemado de frío. ¿eh? This, guys, if you see this, this is weather burn. This is from the cold front. Remember I told you guys I, a lot of my work is yellowed here uh, this year. The todo leaves. eso fue quemado de frío. That's all from the cold weather. Aquí mira todos los endroños que tengo aquí. Oh, yeah. Todos están. Oh, my God, look at how deep this purple is. <gasps> It's just breathtaking what she has. I'm so happy I stopped by here. I saw, I met her at Ophi's and we just started talking. She goes, oh, I watch your channel. And then her husband's like, you should see her collection. And I'm like, can I? And then she sent me some pictures and I just Everything's in rocks, guys. So if you want to know what medium she uses, she uses rocks, she uses volcanic rock, todos, and she uses y todos al sol. And everything out, out in the esto, sun. Esto no me preocupa porque esto es de, ya el mismo de tanto calor y tanto sol la va destiniendo, pero al final ella pierde todas esas con Epsom salt, es, todo. Eh, con Epsom salt, yeah, ella, heat, ella mejora. The heat will do this to your leaves. And then if you give them Epsom salt, which is what I've been doing Epsom salt lately, and it, it is working. Uh, but y you con, gotta do constantly do it. You can't do it mezcla, once. La mezcla esa que vamos a, a ver ahora que yo hago. Con también el Epsom. Si sí, yo le pongo todo Epsom salt. I put, I've been putting Epsom salt this whole summer. All right, so. ¿Quieres que pare de filmar o no? Vamos, vamos a dar la vuelta por claro. ahí. ¿O tú quieres entrar por aquí para dentro de la casa? No, yo para... Oh, pues tú, por eso te digo si... No, como tú. Es tu casa. You don't mind. <laughs> I just, you know, I, I want to respect people's homes and, and she showed me some stuff in there that's very impressive. She does have a very, very beautiful home. I've done it twice. Don't miss it. She has a little step down that I missed it twice. Look how beautiful that piece is, guys. That is so gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. But what I really want to show you. Oh, look how pretty. These are all from RF orchids. How pretty is that? Mm -hmm. So if you guys go to RF, you know, check out their gift uh, gift store because they do have a lot of beautiful stuff in there that are orchid related. Look at that, how pretty. Tan precioso esto. Precioso, precioso. So look, we're getting an extra bonus. It's not just about. That's a beautiful candy dish. Qué lindo está. El bucaro este también es de Are. I would safely say that she really is an orchid lover. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys something that's when she started showing me, it really impressed me. I had never seen this from a collector. Check this out. These are all the awards she has won including these three items here. Estos son de RF, ¿no? Ese es de RF y estos son de, de Fairchild. ¿Y estos es aquí? Sí, de Fairchild. RF. Oh, de Fairchild. Eso es de Fairchild y este es de RF. 
So she won first place on these two um, orchids plus the ornaments. And then these are all from your, your club, uh -huh. when she was in the club, look at this. Do you think she won a lot, enough first, pri first prize? Two clubs, so there's two clubs here. Look at all these certifications of, of achievements. These are second place, some are first place. I mean, she really knows what she's doing. She's won a lot of cultivar. Um, este, este cultivo. Todos estos son de cultivo. Todos esos son de cultivo. So to me, these are really important because cultivo is, um, what it says is how you grow your orchids, right? So she's gotten all these first prizes on growing her orchids properly. And y estas también son de cultivo. Oh, those are also... Todos estos oh, son, wow, look at these. Todos esos son de cultivo. Todos esos son de mejor cultivo. Let me do a full look at that. See, that's a master grower. <laughs> you are definitely a master grower. Amazing. I'm so, so impressed. I'm so happy I met you guys. Que estoy muy contento que los conocí ustedes. Porque esto es algo muy especial. Not everybody can show something like this. And she was, she's so humble about it too. I was like, so have you ever been in a club or anything? She says, yeah, I've won a couple misma, of prizes. I agree 100%. The first que... flower that we showed you, the first Catlia, she says if she turns that in, she definitely will get an award for that. I'm like, you get, no solamente esa, otra que tiene por ahí también. Mm -hmm. Me parece que hubiese ganado todo, lo, <laughs> todo tu premio. Well, it, very impressive. I know it's very hot. All right, let's turn this around. All right, guys, so we decided to come outside. She was very kind to bring everything out, to put everything together. If you guys want to see this beautiful, esto es un Lelia something, no? No, esa es una labiata. Labiata. It's so pretty. Well, I think we've all been very... Oh, she's been ill from her spine, so it's been very difficult for her to carry things. And so she says a lot of things aren't as kept as she's nor, uh, used to keeping them. But I got to tell you, they're doing pretty damn well. <laughs> so anyways, guys, let me, let me show you here. This is what she uses to feed, okay? Now... This rapid start, she swears by it. She says it really does help her vandas and other, like especially um, seedlings and other orchids that you want uh, the roots to take on and, and grow fast. She gives seven cc's of this, right? Siete cc's. Seven cc's of this. And then this, which is one, uh, let me see, this one tablespoon? Yeah, this whole thing is one... Uh, says there one tablespoon so she says she fills it to the top and she gives it one tablespoon of super thrive one tablespoon of the 2014-13 okay so this one she does for bloom boosting so esta tú la haces separada hago la misma combinación de este con este sin esto sin esto Oh, okay. All right, so then uh, she does this with these three for, uh, it's raining again, to uh, bloom, uh, to get them to bloom. So everything she uses here is one tablespoon, and this is seven Okay, so every 15 days, that's normally what she does. But like I was telling you, she hasn't really been feeding that much, she says. We have had a lot of rain. So the rain, as you know, brings in a lot of nutrients. So they do help the orchids grow. Now, as far as... As far as insecticides and pesticides... She uses these three items here. Now this I've never heard of. She says this is a very expensive insecticide. It cost her around $350. And ¿Cuánto tú usas de esto? ¿Cuántos? Eh, ¿Siete gotas? No. Este es 5 cc. Una cosita, es una jeringuilla chiquitica, una cosita así de... So, so estos son 5 cc. Este no. 
Ese no, ese es una cucharada. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, guys. This is the one that's one tablespoon. I was selling. This is five cc's. I knew one of these only took cc's because it's extremely concentrated. Este que es. Pero te dime si, porque si no los voy a confundir. Let me, because she has a, the fungicide here. But let's, uh, this is what she uses for insecticide and pesticide. She makes them all one tablespoon to a gallon. Eso, lo mismo. Lo mismo, es right? One full cucharada, tablespoon. Una cucharada en un galón de agua, una cucharada en un galón de agua, una, unos siete, esta no, esta no. Este siete cc, una jeringuita así, un pedacito así. Seven cc's, one tablespoon, one tablespoon, all in one gallon. And she sprays only the orchid that's infected. She doesn't do overall unless there is uh, an infestation or something that is bordering plants. But she says she only hits the plant that needs it. Esta, cuando tengo mucho tri, yo vengo. Thrips, eh? Esto, yeah. esto es fabuloso yeah. para el tri. Acaba una sola. I fórmula. agree. Esto es buenísimo. This is, sí. I'm speaking now in Spanish. Sí. This is really good for thrips, guys. Okay. Now, remember that all this, you need to y cover esto up. Esto es para el tri, pero también hace otro, otras cosas que es. Otra fórmula. No, y para mites, mira. Sí. It's. Otra fórmula que tengo yo, que yo uso mucho, que la gente se pregunta que por qué tengo las plantas tan limpias, es porque yo uso un, un spray con alcohol, le pongo una cucharadita de detergente y cada vez que yo veo algo sucio en la soja vengo se lo pongo o le veo alguna plaguita vengo se lo echo y sobre todo esa cosa el guau ese blanco uh -huh. que sale eso es fabuloso y la planta no sufre porque le estoy echando alcohol con un poquito so de es alcohol con detergente y con qué más alcohol y detergente nada más really? Y me quedan todas las plantas limpiecitas, todo esto se le cae, so todo lo que es leaves. la plaga esa de la de como esto que vino aquí y le cayó ah, y yo vengo sí. y la y la y enseguida en el momento se las mata. She says for spider mites and for anything that she sees on the leaves before she sprays all this Pero stuff. Esto para el Spiderman, para el Spiderman, este es fabuloso. It's Spiderman. She uses alcohol and liquid detergent with a little cloth and she cleans the leaves completely and she says that she tries to do that more and you know who does that too smiley smiley doesn't use chemicals she uses peroxide she uses alcohol she cleans her plants by hand i've been doing that a lot lately but if i find that it has a really big infestation what i do first is i clean the whole plant and then i spray my insecticide and siempre con el alcohol trato el alcohol. De, de, de limpiarle todas las plagas con el alcohol y el cuando no puedo entonces utilizo esto, pero mientras que yo pueda usar el alcohol con el detergente, me las mantiene limpias. So she uses alcohol and detergent as a primary care, and then when things just don't get fixed, then she goes into the insecticide. Now this here is what she used for fungicide. Esto cuánto tú le mezclas? Ese es una tapita de esto, es un galón de agua. Pero estas son siete gotas y lo hago siempre antes de que empiecen las, las aguas. So Antes de mayo, en, she en, says that this stuff is amazing. Subdue en marzo, fungicide. En marzo, yo fumigo y me dura el año entero. Really? Para, para todo eso. Fíjate que mis plantas no cogen a, prácticamente hongo. Seven drops of this and one tablespoon of this into a gallon. She says that it could last her pretty much the whole Una year. Una sola vez al año yo le Once a eso. year she does it. I, I'm going to try that. I'm, where do, ¿Dónde tú conseguiste esto? Eso lo vendieron en el club, pero eso vale muy caro. Eso hay que comprar el pomo y dividirlo entre varias gente porque oh, es caro. Oh, she says this is one of those very expensive uh, fungicides, and she says that it's best to get together with other collectors, buy the bottle, and then divide it. That's how she did it. Pero a mí me gusta mucho esto. ¿Tú sabes por qué? Porque funciona muy bien. Sí, en la botica esa. Y sí, cuando quiero sembrar una planta que quiero que empiece a... a, flo a que voy a sembrar por primera vez una planta, y no tiene raíces, preparo una, una porción, unas siete gotas de esto, una tapita de esto y una tapita de super, super y, se, y fumigo bien las raíces y en, en menos de una semana ya está llenita de raíces nuevas. Wow, so she's sí. even used it with her, uh, with her fertilizer, Porque oh my God, it's raining hard, hold on, nueva, get... <laughs> it's evita raining hard, el, look. Esto evita que coja hongo. Porque la planta está right. nueva y le evita que coja hongo. Y ese hace que las raíces salgan y el otro le da vitaminas que la, la fortalecen. So las plantas cogen muy rápido. That she mixes these three sometimes 
because she finds it to be sort of like the magic trick when your plants are, are having a little bit of trouble with fungus. She says she uses this and mixes it with this and this. Now remember, one tablespoon, one tablespoon, seven drops. Because <laughs> I know Todo that, esto lo pueden conseguir en Amazon. Todo yeah, increíble. you can get it on Amazon. Now, the reason I'm trying to be very thorough and she's explaining it to me so I can translate it to you, it's because even though I do put it on my videos and we explain how many tablespoons and we tell you what she uses, how many times she uses, I always get multiple people asking me, what does she feed, how many times, even though it's on the video. So I'm not going to be writing that anymore because it takes a long time to explain that to so many people. So I'm being very, very thorough on the video, letting you know exactly what she uses, how she uses it. And like, if you've noticed, she doesn't really have a specific regimen on her, sorry, we're trying here not to get wet, on how many times she feeds. Here, like as you can see, it's raining now, so it would be useless to feed on a day like this. So she says she feeds whenever she's able. She tries to do it every 15 days when she is capable of doing it. And that's usually her feeding regimen. Every two weeks, she feeds what she just explained there. So if you guys want to follow that regimen, you can try it out for yourself. See if it works for you. It's not, this is, this is based on her location. As you can see, she's in Florida, well, rainy Florida. <laughs> I was gonna say okay. sunny Florida. <laughs> So I'm going to turn this around, guys, because I don't think it's going to stop raining. And I think this is it. I can. I think I've shown you plenty. Hopefully, I'll be able to come back and revisit on another, another season and see what she has. So uh, let me turn this around. All right, guys, that is it. We're, we're closing the channel with a wonderful beer from Spain. She just offered me, um, it's called Estrella Galicia. Yeah. So we're going to be trying some Spanish beers. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This has been an amazing, amazing home visit. Maria has been so wonderful to open her home for us. Gracias por invitarnos a todos nosotros. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers to that. I hope to be coming back soon to show you guys what else she has back there because there's so much to show. So until next time, I am Nelson. This is Maria. You've been watching Nature Now and remember to always, always Keep it blooming and keep it green. See you next time. Bye. -bye.